Okay guys, so today we are back in Jakarta, in Indonesia and as you know I always like to show cool places to stay, unique accommodations and generally in today's video I want to talk to you a little bit about where to stay in Jakarta. So we're going to explore a few different areas, I'm also going to show you around this hotel. Let's go! Around six years ago I realized that there is so much more beyond the borders of what you're familiar of. That a world to see was born and it is all about living and traveling through different countries all under the premise of finding more more opportunity more adventure more freedom up, 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 up. let's see if we can fit in there uh, <laughs> Alrighty guys, moving to the A-loft. Well, oh, that is so cute! Wow! <laughs> yeah. So guys, and to also give you an idea where we're staying right now, the A-loft in South Jakarta. So, let's go. So, coming in, this is our home for the next few days. We have some like welcome drinks here, I haven't... Wow. Sugar? Mm, from a caramel. Damn, it's good. The entrance area, you come in, and that was actually a really nice attention piece i come in and they have here i don't know what you call these boards but a nice got a world to see on it so definitely feeling like home and maybe you hear the echo a little bit here we're coming into the bathroom nice big bathroom and the bedroom fairly spacious quiet so it's not like in the middle of the action but i think it took us like 10 or 15 minute drive from uh, the main business district we're coming from right now. So definitely a nice and calm area to stay. Ooh. Okay guys, we're back in the lobby. I'm gonna show you around later a bit more. They have like a little bit more, they have a really cool pool upstairs. But for now, I wanna get a better idea of Jakarta. Like we stayed here already for a few weeks, but we haven't seen like too many areas. So one of them is supposed to be kind of like a nice, the access <laughs> here, I think. Alrighty, so where the hell are we? In the mall, yeah. you know, is everything's closed. Yeah. So, got into this area, they dropped us off at the mall. Unfortunately, still they're all closed, so this is pretty much kind of like it looks right now. All the shops are closed, but at least, you know, grocery store, so you can pretend like you're shopping in a grocery store. So guys, this area is called Pandok Inda. I'm gonna link everything below in the description. And actually on the way here, there was like a lot of different villas. So this is pretty much what people told me. And you know, the biggest thing for me, when I come to a new country, to a new city, especially a big city like Jakarta, it's all about figuring out the different areas, the vibe to it, how they feel, if I could imagine maybe staying there, living there, because for every place I come to, I wanna get like a real honest feeling by actually being on the ground. Because I'm not like here as a tourist, I'm not like traveling, just sightseeing. For me, it's about discovering every city as a potential, let's say, place to live, seeing the culture, seeing what type of different opportunities there are. Jakarta is definitely not, let's say, a travel hotspot. But with that, there are some really nice areas. Okay, well, taking it for a bit of a stroll here. And behind us, really, really interesting looking buildings down there. They have kind of like cafes, bakeries. We got into a new area. I'm gonna show you around in a second. They call this place a little Tokyo. But to jump a little bit back on the topic of where to stay in Jakarta. You know, the thing about Jakarta, it's a huge city. Overall, I would say really the nicest area to stay in Jakarta where you like really can go for like nice morning runs. You can just walk out. You're like in a really like modern city, almost futuristic, you could say SCBD. So it's a central business district of Jakarta. The S stands for something like Sudirman, but basically just SCBD. 
super nice skyscrapers uh, most of the things are really newly developed perfectly flawless roads nice big malls nice facilities to like you know for sports outdoors and generally it's like a very very nice part of the city but with that obviously also the prices so where we're staying right now is kind of like an option where you get a little bit more while you're a little bit outside like again like right now we're like 15 15 maybe 20 minute drive and in our hotel like you know you, you get certain facilities where if you want to stay in like the best area it would be just more expensive so that's a kind of like always something to consider but for me personally right now we're actually looking at also getting an apartment for next week and then hopefully we're going to try to get out of jakarta because right now we're really like spending much more time than planned and um yeah where we are right now has been recommended to us as little tokyo nice mix of like it has some like rough mm. corners yes but still like some like super interesting boutique hotels and you were just like wow they have a lot of japanese places yes and there little tokyo sign right yeah? There. yeah all right cool so this place is called little tokyo i would say let me give you a little bit of a tour back there i saw there's kind of like some type of a mall market it looked fairly busy let's check it out oh it is this place. Tokyo, uh, no, yeah. Japanese. old school dvds yeah. and stuff wow especially <laughs> when when we just got here, I was like, this has like some Hong Kong vibes to me, but Tokyo, okay, I hope the jacuzzi is not gonna come for us here, but... You know, I have been to Japan before and this area, especially this corner, really reminds me of a lot of Japan. But to be honest with you guys, here looks much, much more rougher and dirtier because in Japan everything is completely clean and neat. Here looks a little bit different. But I like this, like, you know, this rough, um, it gives the can... character. Where are we here? We're in a like, very random mall, but everything is kind of like open in here. Not everything, but some shopping stores. And she went to shop for like weeks. There you go. Yeah. What's up? Playing ACDC here in the mall. Okay, so since we have been in Jakarta, absolutely everything has been closed. So here, it's very much kind of like a, let's say, Thailand style mall, you know, like they have them everywhere. So local clothing, I actually still remember from Bali, it's very, very affordable. Some of the things they even make in Indonesia, but yeah, kind of like nice to see some life here. The masks on in public here everywhere. got back cleaned up a little bit here so for sunset we thought to go to the roof so there's kind of like a bit of a rooftop pool situation I think I'm gonna show you tomorrow look at that yeah. what they told me is actually that the hotel maybe you saw it from the drone shots it has like a few floating areas so basically the building is kind of just built outside and right now we pretty much you know under us this is nothing so we're like in a little bit of a floating corner is it with alcohol yeah oh. i ordered some beef wow it looks really 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 good with some little potatoes so here we have some beef taco salad and Bianca ordered chicken, definitely a good size of a chicken, but you know, just sit here in the corner. I think we're gonna have dinner and afterwards I'm gonna challenge you. For what? For pool. Oh yeah, let's do that. We gotta be trying to be. It's already super good. Not bad, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Playing a round of pool or billiard, however you want to call it. And you know, the fun fact is that what was it like our second date, you could say, or something yeah. like that? Yeah. We started off with playing pool, then I think we didn't play for almost like a year. When was the last time we played it? I don't remember. But for sure, we played it in Bali. Maybe I'm going to use the clip right now. So that is a little bit our game. So uh, yeah, I'm not going to show mercy. <laughs> Please, let it come. Camera is on, there's no mercy. Oh, wait a second. 
There we go. You got it? Yeah. What are we looking at there? Wait for my 10K. Three more to go. Uh, the snail is rarely free, motherfucker. Guys, good morning. Right now, it's just starting off today. I'm in the bathroom. Somebody knocks on the door. They're bringing the breakfast to the room. You know, when they bring the breakfast to the room, you don't expect too much. Just like, yeah, basic breakfast, I guess. Sure, great, awesome. But seriously, especially Bianca took the time a little bit here to set it up. This is the classical Indonesian breakfast, dinner, almost anything. Fried rice with an egg on top of it, with the chicken. But like in terms of the setup, this is like a proper, proper, like super nice and neat restaurant. What do you have? It's called American Breakfast? Yes. I think this is the best American breakfast I've seen in that mm -hmm. setup. You have like super nice egg, potatoes, fruit bowl, orange juice. Looks really good. Wow. And actually I was just thinking like, having breakfast in a room is actually even better. Especially with this view. Yeah, we have the view. As you've seen before with the highway, seriously. What a way to start the breakfast. It looks like it's gonna be a heavy one. Stop eating my breakfast! Mm, wow. He's like doing this, just like, guys, I just wanna show you, but actually, I just wanna finish the yeah, breakfast. That's my technique. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Okay, guys, so a little bit later after breakfast right now. The sun came out, looks really nice outside. They're supposed to have like some type of pool facilities upstairs. Maybe I've already showed you in the beginning of the video, so. We're the only ones on the rooftop. The only thing is like, it's, it's obviously a little bit loud, like we're right next to it, but for that we also get like this crazy view. Obviously just so much happening here from the pool. So we haven't hopped in yet, so maybe we should. It's so, like Danny, what type of a video is that now? <laughs> All right, let's jump in. The sun disappeared, but... Ooh, yeah guys, you know, for me it's always like, I always want to show some Cool places. This is a little bit outside of, let's say, the main area, but with this little pool with the bar they have in the back. Later, maybe we're gonna check it out. Really kind of like a nice, nice spot, you know, to start off the day. Nice. As of right now, the pool is actually kind of chilly. A little bit of an ice bath. Usually, they probably heat it up, but uh, you know. Ice baths are popular right now, gets your blood going, wakes you up, so... This is actually a really cool part of this hotel. They have like some open spaces, maybe you saw it in the drone shot. So here they have kind of like an outdoor tree in the middle of the hotel. And, uh, you know, this is the pool, one level. And on the lower level they have this kind of like tree hanging out there. In the gym there is actually also another area like that, maybe I'll show you later. So guys, even though it might not seem to you on video, it has been five days here at the A-Loft at this point, already packing up the bags, gonna wrap up the video in a second, probably sit down with Bianca. And uh, yeah, right now there's not that much to do in Jakarta, so luckily we still had the chance to feature this hotel, to show you around a little bit with that. We also got the chance to get access, you know, to film a little bit at the pool, at the gym and things like that, because otherwise, most of the things in Jakarta are kind of closed. Let's talk about that. 
also to just to honestly share like how do you feel right now about like you know being in Jakarta in general oh my god don't yeah. even start that I mean like we really planned this trip a long time ago and I was so excited and then right after we arrived here they started to have this lockdown and uh, they extend yesterday they announced the fourth extension so for yeah. us like you could tell that uh, some people tell me my vlogs are like Bianca you look you start to look very frustrated right now <laughs> well yeah. there's a reason and actually her we, we have been doing you have been doing videos every 48 hours and you got to 10k mm -hmm. subscribers a few days ago yes I was uh, uh, uh. yeah I I think after we arrived here then it was like let's grow your channel I had 5,000 followers back then and then and he said like by the end of the month we're gonna get you in 10k I was like that is kind of like unrealistic but he helped me a lot you know planned all the um, uh, video ideas and helped me to film so in the end we actually achieved this unrealistic goal so yeah, I was very, very happy about that get her to 20k within the next two weeks now and overall if you happen to watch this and you're planning to come to Jakarta I think if you're gonna be here in a few months overall the city I think is definitely underrated it's not a tourist destination it's not very developed for tourism but still in terms of big Southeast Asian cities they have some super nice areas especially if you like to see a little bit like modern Southeast Asia um, some parts of it or also like much more local the thing is like no. yes they have both yeah. they do have both yeah. and also like this is something I have never seen in my life because this city is huge and just within the city you see a lot of like big trees it's kind of like forest even then very, like, green. Yes, very green like city it's jungle. warm and it rains all the time yes. so that's how it looks outside so overall Jakarta be it voluntary be it we like let's just let's just see it in our mind we get the chance mm -hmm. to explore Jakarta even a little bit more yes like we might extend our visa then we can stay even longer in Indonesia but that is really gonna depend on like right now we plan to stay in Jakarta maybe for two weeks now we're here already over four weeks so that is a little bit like the negative news we cannot really go anywhere right now in Indonesia which is fine it's also a little bit the risk that you take when you go to a country right now this was a risk that I was conscious of that we're taking follow Bianca on her channel I would say that's yeah. the basic gist of this video <laughs> Bianca G always people ask me so uh, Danny what is Bianca's channel Bianca G uh, and now we're gonna go to move to a very nice big apartment yeah we're yeah gonna have an apartment for a week let me know if you want to see an apartment tour video it's gonna be a very very nice apartment. Uh -huh. and so on that note guys see you in the next one